Hello, you welcome. You watching the Funny White Man Show, which is the biggest, the brightest, and the most entertaining show in Africa. Funny White Man. Funny White Man. Funny White Man. But this way you talk, you too much. Give me five thousand man that you. Too much. So you get it like, when she move along the street, ah, yeah, me should like, I'm going girl. You know, my own people, ah, Charlie. Yeah, fine. It's fun. I enjoy it, and I'm one of those very few. I'm forever taking it personal. I will listen one hundred sixty million Nigerians are corrupt. How? I brother, I'm looking for you. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a growth and this is the time to build business and know the pitfalls and know what to do and what not to do. But there are months where you get business and months... You know how we do, how we turn up. <laughs> we did the way you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you welcome. you watching Trending Matters on the Funny White Man Show. Of course, we will bring you trending issues just to entertain and tickle your fancy. You're welcome, you're watching the Funny White Man Show, which is the biggest and the most entertaining show in Africa. And of course, I am the Funny White Man. Well, viewers, I must say you are in for a treat today because we have loads of exciting stuffs lined up just for you. And I am sitting with one of Africa's favorite sweeters. I'm talking about Geraldine Nehemi, the very beautiful girl right from who went for Nigerian. Uh, represented Nigeria and uh, Big Brother Africa season four. But before we get to meet our topic, actually caught my fancy this week, and that is the uh, John Legend and his wife Chris Tegan. They are having problems, and a big issue for this week is what makes a marriage work. I don't know because I'm not married, but I would like to know what you think about this particular topic. Join the conversation online on Facebook at four slash the Funny White Man Show. On Twitter, it's at the Funny White Man. On Instagram, it's Funny White Man Show 360. On Google Plus, it's Funny White Man Show. And if you want to send an email to us, tell us what you feel about this particular topic and how we can make it better, this show better, please send it to Funny White Man Show at gmail.com. We'll take a short break now. We'll come back. We'll meet the beautiful girl, Geraldine Hemme. Don't go away. <laughs> You welcome back. Hope you enjoy. Hope you're enjoying the show. Like I said before the break, my first guest on the show today is one was one of the housemates of uh, Big Brother Africa season four. I'm talking about the beautiful, the delectable Geraldine Hemi. What's up? Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Thank How has you it so been much. so far? It's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's been a long ride. Because I know your itinerary has been crazy. It's been crazy. Yeah. Especially because of the business we're trying to develop. I like you too. The, especially the business we're trying to develop. Okay. So it, it's hectic. It's been a hectic three it, months. It, what, 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 what baffles me is that Igbo, do they just love business? Because Igbo uh, business, it just flows. No, not really. We just, we just like to be great or to make it in life or yeah. to be successful just to do something well, maybe you guys just have a team for selling uh, no it's not it's not <laughs> selling it's business okay. building empires basically wow that, that's that's great well let's talk about big brother you we all know you from big brother season four mm -hmm. and uh, you were this cute girl Aww. quite shy guys were yeah. toasting you but you didn't reply the toasting why because why at that time i had a boyfriend at that time at that time yeah so i was i had to be faithful not this time so and i'm a good girl i wow. know I'm a good girl <laughs> good girl that's that's great yeah. because there have been issues of good girl going bad yeah. well if you can see if, if you've watched my if you see my track record i've been a very good girl no i'm not saying you you're bad <laughs> but i'm just saying from what was the reason why why did you go for big brother um for the experience i for went the experience. for the experience i was with my sister that actually gingered in my twins she was like let's do this let's do this so, so big we brother went you went for it. the audition and all yes and wow. we we i was shocked when they said we made it because i was just wow. myself you know but I, and i thought my sister would be my wingman she'd be the person that would be with me but okay your sister was out. the gra, gra type you had the camp not really type. she just she's just a go-getter she's a she's a daredevil she's Is like she let's single? do that now no she's married now oh, okay with and a child with a child yeah well that's that, that's bad <laughs> <laughs> well so the, the experience how was it like because you just locked up in the house people Yay. get to watch you and people get on your video privacy see you when you used to 
No, no, don't worry. In my in our time, there was no shower hour. Okay. Thank God. God, God, God really loves me so much. Um, a lot of people were looking forward to that shower hour. Uh, I know, I know. But for some reason, they said that year there was not going to be any shower hour because wow. I can. Now that we're in the social media world, yeah, hmm, it would have been crazy. No, it wouldn't have been crazy. It's just it will be there forever and ever. <laughs> you just Google Gerald in here, that's the first thing you see. No, uh, I understand. Yeah. I understand. So after Big Brother, or oh, a very reliable source said you. You went for NYC, got done with school, and you went for your master's. So tell me, how, sure, how was sure. it after, after Big Brother? Because a lot of people were thinking that after Big Brother, you go into no, entertainment. Would, yeah. But you just changed. You went for serious. I'm going to release my You went for a book. No, not really. I've always, I've always said it. I'm, I love writing. You love writing? I love law. You know, so after I was done with the whole hype and the whole, you know, Big Brother, whole stuff that happened, yeah. then I went to do, I went to law school. After law school, I served. After I served and I went, no, I, I now wrote a book. Yeah. The Figured Emotions. The Figured Emotions. Which I yeah. promoted for a year. Then I went to do my master's, you know. Uh, Not in, in Nigeria. Oil, no, 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 yeah. in Scotland. Scotland. In uh, oil and gas, energy law and policy. I, I, I've, been, I've been to Scotland in my dreams. I, I go there a lot in my dreams. It's very cold and yeah. annoying. No, in, in my dreams. It's so hot in my dreams. It's, I don't know. It's very, it's better you just think. It's, <laughs> it's, you know, I love Scotland, but it's cold. And the people okay. are very friendly, though. Okay. You know, so then I came back, and then we had this family business about opening this referee mall. Yeah. And we At just... Lecky, to be precise. Lecky, Lecky one. Yeah. Yes. So that was what we worked on. We worked on that, and... So far, it's been so good, you know. It's I, been so I good. understand. So tell me about your, your my next question is going to be on your books, the figured emotions, and uh, oh, I've forgotten the other one. Um, buried in bleeding tears. Yeah. The second so one. tell me, what was the motivation towards your your writing books? You said you've, you've loved to write, but ah, come on, how did this start actually? I've been I've been writing since I was because seven, I know a lot of people that six, love to five. write. They started writing love letters right from when they were kids. Uh, but me, I used to like write. I used, I used to have a diary. diary. I would sit down and write today. This guy annoyed me, and I'll write it in such an impeccable way. I would wow. describe what happened and how the teacher caught. You know, it would be so interesting. So I was like, you know what? This is actually fun. This so actually if you want to write about the funny white man show now, just give me a brief. What are you going to write about? Okay, just tell me. Uh, okay, to describe you. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's this guy I thought was very buff. From you know, seeing from the screen, <laughs> and then I saw it for the first time, and he's like, "I can actually carry you. Like really? we're actually, we're actually at the same height." <laughs> okay. You know, and then I walked in, and he, his his personality just, you know, exuded. You know, it was just beautiful. You just surround your people were just fantastic. I'll buy that book. I'll you know, buy the so book. you just described the whole yeah, feeling, and I came okay. in here, and then it was like, yeah. So yes. something, so anything, anybody can write, but you just have to have. The passion. Yeah, that's true. You have true. to be able to craft words into whatever you want Talking to Talking about the writers and all that, it's not really organized in Nigeria because people write books every day, but the creative side is good, but sales and distribution is not that nice. So as a writer, what do you feel can be put in place to make it, this book writing stuff grow faster, the industry? I think people love to read yeah. which is one of the stuff i actually push i i'm just advocate for young people should read because it's when the age of social media yeah. where everyone wants to type 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 so you can do ebooks you don't have to spend a dime type your stuff put it on pdf form or whatever e format and then put it on and make your money there are ways to make money you cannot sit down and say oh i write and i'm not making money if no one if nobody wants to publish your book then go ahead and self publish it you know, partner with people. So uh, that's what I did. You know, I had people yeah. that I worked with and all that. Like a smaller company, and then we just published the book, and I, I just started marketing. So you have to have the passion. And I know, but don't give that excuse. Of, oh, there's no money. There's money there. Yeah. You know, it's just to reach the right. So people. you really made a lot of money from books. Of course, of course. Wow, that's no, just... uh, not a beggar. <laughs> don't find me. <laughs> but I'm just saying, but you just you can make a lot of money. Yeah. You know? So yes, that, yes, that, yes, that's yes. That's good. That's good. And uh, there was this. Uh, I, I saw this online. You had a, a problem with at the time you were really big. You were you <laughs> were so big as in <laughs> Oh my god. You said you were just eating a, it you eat chocolates like fifty chocolates a day. Is a is though. But tell me Yeah. How, how, how I, I, I used to be very skinny, like No, you were not really skinny. Skinny, skinny before. No. So I just thought big I would brother, never you were not skinny, you were just there. I was slim. Yeah. So I never thought I would add with my life. I used to eat anyhow. I used to eat chocolates, donuts, cakes. I used to eat wow. anyhow. But then the As fat came in. Like, good. see, Geraldine, what's up? We're around. Yeah. And it just came, my arms, my cheeks, everywhere. So I was like, you know, I have to go to the gym. I have and to you really serious. did. And I did. And today you are? Team Stay Fit, fitness, you know, yeah. eat right, Team so Natural. you guys better stay fit for you fat. No, oh, sorry. I'm not no. trying to discriminate anybody. But, no, but I feel you are beautiful just the way you are. So we're going to go on to our next question, though. Let's talk about love. 
Who is that guy? <laughs> Run. Because I know, I know, I know during Big Brother, there was this guy that was trying to toast you, but you were like, you were engaged, so you don't want to. No, no, no. You don't no, wait, no, no. now relax, relax. You didn't want to collab. You understand? But who is that guy now that is tutoring all these calls that you have? Wait, the I'm, personal I'm, trainer. I'm very happy. Like, honestly, very happy. I've never been this happy in my life. And I really? actually now know what's the meaning of true love. Okay. Like, that same guy is still there. No, no, that, no, that one. No, that one's out. So. Ah. Seriously. So yeah. everybody that asks him just dumps their former boyfriend. That's No, strange. no, no. You see, I was actually with him, you know, throughout the whole, but we just, our personalities don't match anymore. Okay. So, no. So, oh, this guy now, what does he have? He's just my best friend. He's your best, best friend for like over nine years. Wow. So good. it was so easy for us to just start dating. And okay. So I'm very luckily this year marriage stop. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, you're engaged. No, right? no, this is the this is a question. I'm just saying like hint, hint. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Because I I, don't, I, I propose immediately I, when I see you. You're like, you're engaged. I want to engage you. Uh, ah, <laughs> um, good luck today when you're going home. You're really? Going home, yeah. Okay, okay, yes, my ring producer. Oh, I, I thought it was you, me. I know. Okay, okay, no problem. We'll do it after the show, though. Yeah. So tell me, I know you're working on some things right now. Your more is growing fast. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. The publicity is there. We're uh, trying, we're trying. So, what should we expect from you? No, nothing for entertainment at all. No movies. No, nev no never say never. I, I just know I'm maybe acting. I'm very shy, so I don't okay. know if I'll go into acting. But okay. there are other opportunities. You never know. Okay. You know, so I'm always open for any of that. But my passion will always be there. Okay. Always be writing. You'll always so be should writing. Expect more books. Of course. Forever. Okay. Just tell me. Tell me. What? What? What should we expect from you? More books. Okay. You know, and just. And I'm very unpredictable. I don't like people to predict me. Okay. So I'm a very, you're going to just expect some spontaneous so things about we should, me. So maybe one day I'll just turn on my TV and I'll see you twerking on, on the music no, I, video. I'm, no, <laughs> no I'm, I'm not a video vixen. I, 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 nah. No, I'm, nah. you said you are very spontaneous, very unpredictable. Yes, but the things I might do, you okay. know, the things I might work on, is just something. And I, I, I'm a role model. I want to be a role model to younger to the younger generation, obviously. That's, so. that's, that's so inspiring. Yeah. Well, it's been a huge pleasure chatting with you. But before you go, what do you do for fun? Tell me. Because you, anytime I call you, anytime we chat, you are always busy, it's busy. So on a normal day when you are not busy, what do you do? I love watching movies. Wow. I love romantic movies? I love spending mo romantic thrillers, yeah. horror. I love those kind of movies. Okay. Then for my sister, I love hanging out with my twin a lot. So if it's not my twin, my friend. So you don't like hanging out with him? With who? <laughs> 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 with him, of course. Of course he's yeah. number one. Of course, okay. of course I love hanging I love hanging out with my friends. friends I love having fun. I love okay. partying and all that. Wow. Yeah. That's, I love so, girls to party. Yeah. Sometimes. It's been a huge pleasure chatting with you, Geraldine. And Thank uh, you. I have a lot of questions I want to ask you, but because of time, we'll have to let you go. But hope you come again soon, though. Of course, though. of course. Of okay, course. well, viewers, that was the beautiful Geraldine Nehemi. Please watch out for more books. And um, you guys should go visit our mall at Lekki, which is really big and great. We'll take a short break now. We'll come back. We'll see training issues. Don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, you welcome. You watching the funny white man show, which is the biggest, the brightest, and the most entertaining show in Africa. Funny you white man. Funny, funny white man. man. Funny, funny white man. But this way you talk, you yeah. too much. Yeah. Give me five thousand man, that's you. <laughs> too much. So you get to like, make sure you move along the street. Ah, yeah, make sure like I'm going girl. You know, my own people. Nah, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, fine. It's fun. I enjoy it, and I'm one of those very few. I'm, I'm forever you. sticking it personal. Sorry, I will listen listen. One hundred sixty million Nigerians are corrupt. How? I brother, I'm looking for you. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a growth and this is the time to build business and know the pitfalls and know what to do and what not to do. But there are months where you get business and months... You know how we do, how we turn up. <laughs> we did the way you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you welcome. You're watching Trending Matters on the Funny White Man Show. Of course, they will bring you trending issues just to entertain and tickle your fancy. 